Well, today I'd like to talk about the myriads of groups who are protesting against different things without there being any apparent connection between them. The safety of the earth has to be guaranteed by one single group, not by 10,000 groups or even more. Because, for example, if you take the vegans, who are, very, who are a very strange group indeed, and you divide them into their separate groups, it comes to about 20,000 groups. And uh, then there's another cause that seems to be forgotten. That is the cause of the atomic bombs. That is a cause that worried me intensely for many years and I dedicated myself to it. I was alone in my uh, kind of uh, protest against this uh, continual threat. It's not dignitous to go to bed at night and sleep when you have the whole planet being threatened by a million atomic weapons. Now, of course, there are the environmental groups who don't quite agree with the ideas of the vegans. Now, the vegans have very strange ideas. They think all animals should die of old age. That would be, that would be very strange. They set up little charities where they take uh, pigs, and goats and things into uh, sanctuaries and these animals live until they die of old age and uh, in some of the sanctuaries there's a kind of uh, contradiction that they're fed on factory farms meat that is an industrially farmed meat you know, uh, they have uh, lions and tigers there who are inevitably carnivorous and they can't manage to convert them to a vegan diet, these animals. So uh, they give them industrially farmed meat which comes from the very thing which they're most against and that is industrial farming. Of course, they are also against vivisection. Well, I am extremely against vivisection. Vivisection is an atrocity. But uh, the vegans don't actually manage to do anything about it, because all they do is they uh, make the vivisectionists richer by destroying their property, so that uh, the vivisectionists can cash in on the insurance money. They have no actual strategy at all. They don't seem to want to have a strategy because I once pointed out these things to them and I got a reply from one of them that uh, well we know that uh, the earth is only going to last another 30 or 40 years if we can save one animal in a million uh, in the meantime, we still have done something good, won't we? Well, that's so the rubbish. I say there's no point in saving one animal in a million, because the other 999,999 feel very left out. So, I uh, really do protest against these organisations because they're pulling legs in a major way. All of them. I mean, the uh, in, environmental organisations are many, and they all have contrasting views on to which methods to use to save the earth. And they indulge in endless discussions which uh, are going to go on for decades, while in the meantime the planet dies. The planet won't actually die for another 
nearly another century, but it will be without hope, let's say, within 40 or 50 years' time. I mean, honestly, if, if you want to be, have the absolute truth, it was without hope after the year 1970. If people hadn't uh, reacted in 1950 to the atrocity of the hydrogen bomb, then they would have never taken any positive decision at all. Those bombs should have been dismantled immediately. And uh, they didn't dismantle them. That uh, John Fitzgerald Kennedy is considered a hero is something that I can't understand because he had, uh, well, he started the nuclear arms race. He started the nuclear arms race. He uh, fueled it. And instead of trying to reach a pacific agreement with the Russians, he had an enormous quantity of nuclear weapons constructed. And uh, I don't think that threatening little babies in their cots, and uh, from my point of view, I think about the dogs and the cats and the swifts and the pigeons and the trees and uh, all the rest. I even think about the little flies and the cockroaches and uh, all these little beings here, uh, all, these, all the myriads of these little beings that would be burned in a nuclear holocaust. And uh, I wish to say that uh, uh, I am disappointed that he is considered a, considered a hero, because uh, for me he is not a hero at all. For me he is a, he's the person that started the nuclear arms race. And none of the ve vegans are heroes at all. The vegans have a group called the Animal Liberation Front, who they consider heroes. Well, they are not heroes for me at all. Because, as I was saying, people who attack previous section laboratories and destroy the equipment don't actually stop the vivisection, they just make the, make the people who do it richer. So those people are insured and they cash in on the insurance money and they build another two laboratories with the money that they get. So they don't actually operate in an efficient manner. Well, if you're not operating in any efficient manner, if you're talking about fighting all the time, so if, you, if you're declaring that you're fighting a battle all the time and you're not actually doing any fighting, you're just sending millions of emails to boost the egos of the people you're against and your, uh, your petitions, you see. If you do petitions, you just uh, boost the egos of those who get petitions. And uh, petitions don't get anyone anywhere. They will, just, they will just make those people in power feel bigger. These demonstrations in the streets don't do anything at all. They just make the people in power feel bigger. Because those demonstrators are demonstrating pacifically, yes. And what does pacific demonstration mean? It means showing, displaying that you are afraid to demonstrate in any other fashion. It demonstrates that you know that those people have total power to crush you and you boost their egos and you give them the uh, reassurance that they want. So well that's this video for today. It's uh, total chaos as I see it in the uh, progressive movements. A hundred thousand of them all colliding with each other, none of them agreeing with each other at all. Total chaos. Absolutely ridiculous.